someone holding a string taut from a bow, right? So the first thing to do would be to draw a free body diagram. Okay, so we have our y direction, our x-axis, and uh, which forces do we have acting? We have two tensions. We have a tension in this direction, a tension in this direction, and then we have a pulling force in that direction. So let's label these. We'll call this tension one. We'll call this tension two. We'll call this, I don't know, we'll, we'll just call it the force, pulling force. And so this will be theta. And because it's the midpoint, we know that this will also be theta. Okay, so another thing to think about is Newton's second law, which states that if we sum all of the forces together, it will equal the mass times the acceleration. But because this is in equilibrium, the acceleration will be zero. So we could say A equals zero. So let's write out the components of our vectors. First we have F vector, the pulling force, which in the X direction we have the negative magnitude of F, and in the Y direction we have nothing. How about T1. T1 in the x direction, we will have the magnitude of T uh, multiplied by cosine of the angle. And then in the y direction, we'll have the magnitude of T1 multiplied by the sine of the angle. How about tension 2? Now tension two, we're actually looking at this angle here, all the way around, which is 360 degrees minus theta. So in this case, it would be the tension two, the magnitude of tension two, multiplied by cosine of 360 minus theta. But in this case, cosine is the same in the fourth quadrant, Cosine is the same in the fourth quadrant as it is in the first quadrant. Both will be a positive value. So uh, we could just call this theta. And in the y component of tension 2 will be the magnitude of tension 2 times sine of 360 minus theta. And in this case, we would have to write 360 minus theta, although we could just note that its direction in the y on the y-axis is negative and so we could just say negative which would make it so that 360 minus theta the sine of that value would equal sine of theta so we could just write sine of theta we don't have to write 360 minus theta because of this negative we put the negative in front of the magnitude okay so now let's sum the components of our vectors so Let's sum the y component, which would be t1 sine theta, oops, minus t2 sine theta equals mass times acceleration, but in this case, zero, because there is no acceleration. And that means that t1 equals t2, if we were to just simply solve. Okay. So now let's sum our x components, which would be negative f plus tension 1 cos theta plus tension 2 cos theta, which also equals 0. Now in this case, because t1 equals t2, we could simply just state this in terms of negative the pulling force plus um, we'll, we'll just call this we'll, we'll just call these t now because they're both the exact same magnitude so we'll just call it t but we're going to add them together so it'll be 2t cos theta 
and that equals zero. So that means that f equals 2t cos theta, which means that if we divide out 2t, we get f over 2t equals cos theta. And of course, we take the inverse of cos to find the angle. Now, there's something else that we know here. The pull equals the force of the tension. Okay, that's important. What does that mean? It means that F equals T. And that's good because these cancel then. And we're left with theta equals cos inverse of a half. So that means that theta equals 60 degrees. And we notice that that is half the amount that we want. We, we, we want both of them, the sum of both thetas. We want the, the full angle between these strings. So that means that the angle that we want equals 2 times 60, which is 120 degrees. And that's our answer.